Hello, I'm Dr. Charles Foster with Fostering Wellness. The Fostering Wellness clinics are a little bit different than some of the other clinics in our area. Not better, but we do fill in a particular niche that most of my peers do not. And in this niche, within this niche, is the area of spinal correction or postural correction. Why is that important? Let me just show you something. There are 24 vertebrae in the spine. We talk about the fifth lumbar, fourth lumbar, five of those, 12 of these, 12 of the thoracic, and seven of the cervical vertebrae. And in between each one of these vertebrae is something known as the intervertebral disc. I want to talk to you about how important that disc is. So I'll use this model, if you will. The discs perform several very important functions. One of them is that they provide a mechanism for this bony column that you have as your spine to move. So they act like hinges so that the bones can move and so that the muscles can act on the bones and, and now allow us to laterally flex, extend, go forward, and so on. So they act like hinges. The second thing that they do is they act like spacers. There are holes, there's a, a well-designed hole between the two vertebrae where the nerves come out. And this disc acts like a spacer to keep these two bones off of this nerve. So that's important. It also contributes to our height. If we were to take the disc out of this spine, that spine would get shorter by almost 20%. So you can imagine how funny we'd look if we were just short, you know, our legs were the same length, but we were 20% shorter throughout our spine. But we don't really have to imagine that. We can see older adults who have diminished spines, diminished discs at multiple areas, and they've gotten shorter. And so they are getting shorter through the trunk, through the vertebral column. The discs also perform a very important function. They actually, depending on where they're at, they're kind of wedge-shaped. So in the lumbar spine in the front, they're usually a little bit wider in the front and narrower in the back. In the middle back, they're more horizontal shaped as we go up the spine, they're more horizontal shaped or slightly wedged in the backside. In the neck, as they ascend, they again, they get a little wider in the front and narrow in the back. And these wedges contribute to these curves. Curves or arcs, if you will, are some of the strongest features in architecture. Very important that we have these. If we have a well-functioning curves, strong arches, if you will, arcs in our spine, we're going to be able to move much better, more efficiently as we were designed. And so if you feel like you might be getting shorter or you feel like your hinges are not working as well, you may have some disc concerns. And I would invite you to give Fostering Wellness a call. We would love to go over your health with you and give you a design for better health and better posture. Dr. Charles Foster here with Fostering Wellness. Thank you.